Hello there guys and welcome to another episode of Pure Ant Meats where we sit down and basically have a good chat. Today we're joined by a man who needs no introduction, but I'll introduce him anyway. It's a man with a golden voice, the man, the myth, Jermaine Jackman. <laughs> I didn't realise I was a myth. <laughs> <laughs> oh we have those. <sighs> yeah, yeah, when your name comes everyone, it's the fanfare. <laughs> We clawed, we chained our hearts in things we jumped, never asking why. But uh, who or what inspired you to start singing? And like, what, at what age would you say like, you realised you wanted to pursue music as a career? You know, I, I grew up listening to Luther Vandross, Patti LaBelle, mm -hmm. Aretha Franklin, all the great soul singers. and. And I, starting off my singing, I, I was singing classical and opera music. I, I was, and I would sit down and watch YouTube videos on how singers would stand, and mm. and, we're, we're, and I would research Stature. about, yeah. I would research about how to breathe and where the voice and, and about the larynx. So, so I was, I had an interest for singing from mm -hmm. a young age. The technical and, side, very much. The technical well, side, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and I would sing in church a lot. Um, mm -hmm. And then just, just being around my parents and hearing the music that they play all the time, I just got involved in that way and then mm. sung, sung in church and schools and it grew on from there. And the natural progression then, right? Yeah, natural progression. We kissed, I fell under your spell A love no one can deny Don't you ever say I just walked away I will always want you I can't live a lie Running for my life I will always want you uh, So you recently won The Voice What was like that? What was that like? Winning such an amazing show and like, How has your life changed since then? Like, does it feel like you've made it now? You, you know, life you, cont you, you, you continue to grow in life I, I haven't made it anywhere right. I've just achieved something that's great Which is winning The Voice And, mm -hmm. and it's through hard work and through the support and encouragement from everyone and, and the voters at home who voted as well and yeah. just my family, friends, the, my local community, my church, everyone who just supported me and nourished my talent and encouraged my talent from a young age, all thanks go out to them and, and it, it, we continue to grow, we continue to grow together. Mm -hmm. At one stage there was actually uh, around 8 million people watching the live final. Like, how does that feel knowing there's so many eyes like just watching you? It's so daunting. You feel like you need to take a shot of rum before yeah, you go yeah. on stage. <laughs> That's <laughs> just, courage, right? Just, just not saying that I did that. Yeah. Um, right. <clears throat> but, like, in order to get rid of the nerves, mm. you have to block that out. Yeah. You have to block it doesn't feel like it just feels like it, weirdly it just felt like another rehearsal. It felt like because you rehearsed during the day with them, um, with Kylie Minogue, mm. Tom Jones, Ricky Wilson and Will I Am in front of Big you. Big names. Big names name drops yeah. um, you, you rehearse with them in front of you so it doesn't feel so daunting when the live shows yeah. happen but when the live shows do happen you have in ears which block out the outside sound so you can't hear the audience so it kind so of gives you your own yeah and there's, you know. there's, there's, there's hundreds of people inside the studio so that gives that, that's one set of pressure and then you the, oh. the thought of millions of people at home watching you as well is daunting as well so I guess you've got to block that out of your head right you've you got to block that out and focus on what you're doing focus on the lyrics I used to forget I always used to forget the lyrics because there's so much, <laughs> there's so much to remember That'd be uh, a terrible there, moment though, right? Like, there, there was actually, there was a moment, I don't think many people clocked on, but I forgot two lines of one song. Um, it was during the live finals, and I just made up two lines. No <laughs> just freestyled it completely. I don't, I don't think anyone realised, I don't think anyone picked up on it, but really? I'm so glad. I, I should not have mentioned it, now people are going to go look Now people, video. yeah, YouTube, watch <laughs> that, you find it. I came in like a You mentioned Will I Am. Uh, you were mentored by him. Um, what was it like working with him? And do you still have a relationship oh. with him? Can we expect a collaboration anytime soon? Oh, or, oh, oh, oh. Or, uh, uh, you know what? He's such a great soul. Um, <laughs> when he's with you, it makes you feel like he's with you. Even though there's million, there's a million and one things going on in his mind. Mm. He's, he's focused on you. I was talking to him over the weekend, and and there's definitely something in the pipeline. I'm, you never know what. Uh, all right, Pure Ant TV exclusive here. We've got that coming up now. Pure right. Exclusive. <laughs> I put you high up in the sky and now you're not coming down It slowly turns you let me burn and now we're ashes in the ground uh, 
So you've been relatively quiet in regards to uh, releasing music uh, mm -hmm. recently. Um, can you tell us more about what you've been working on recently? Like what's in the pipeline? You know what, what people need to understand is that everyone thinks once you come out of these shows, it, oh, straight away with a single, straight away with an album, album. You, you need to do it straight away. Sam Smith spent 18 months writing his album and, mm. and these things take time. I, I didn't realise until I started writing most of it and, mm. and getting to spend time with these amazing producers who've written for Adele, Sam Smith, mm. and Dubs, uh, Whitney Houston. These great producers and great songwriters that I've been around they share knowledge with me and it's a learning experience and, yeah. and and it's taken so long because you're pouring your heart and your soul into it and you need to make sure it's correct it's like a baby yeah it's yeah, like yeah, you're, you're development, right? yeah yeah it's like you're, you're writing it from from you're pouring your heart and your soul so you're writing the lyrics you're putting the verses together it's like a, it's like a child and then you're putting your child out into the world <laughs> out into the charts <laughs> right, yeah. and, and like to, be, to be to, to be scrutinized and to be commented on and it needs to be correct it needs to be yeah. perfect and i'm i'm one of those perfectionists that make sure that everything's all the t's are crossed all the i's, the I's dotted, are dotted yeah um before you put it out mm, yeah don't you ever say i just walked away Um, so, are there any other artists out right now that you're looking at and you think, yeah, you know what, I'd really like to work with them, or, you know, I want to get on their track, I want to do this, I want to... Of course, of course, Sam Smith, definitely, he's killing it right now. Mm. Um, you have Ella Air, Jess Glynn, and there's so many producers and songwriters that I want to work with. It's just, there's so much talent, there's so much talent that I, I want to work with everyone, I want to work with everyone. And, I want to be one of those things where, what, jeez, man, Jermaine's name's everywhere. Like, yeah, yeah. He's on that. What is that guy on nowadays? He's, he's that, everywhere. He's, that, 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 he's on that Two Chains track, and he, and he, and he, and he <laughs> Two Chains, yeah, and then, yeah. And now he's singing at the Royal Albert Hall with yeah. Shirley Bassey. Like, what's this guy on? Is that is that is that something you'd be up for? Oh, of Clever course. with Two Chains. I would love to do that. Switch it up. You know, you know what? It's like you're an artist. Don't 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 be forced into yeah, one pigeonhole genre. Yeah. Uh, and pigeonhole. I I really think that I can branch out and. Do the same singing with an orchestra and sh with Shirley Bassey, do a duet, sing Goldfinger. And then the trap remix with French Montana, right? Exactly. Oh, yeah. what I'm trying to say. Turn up. Turn up with yeah. French Montana and, and Two Chains. This is what I'm trying to say. I don't want to be boxed in, I just want to be able to sing, and I love singing. Mm. And singing over everything. I, I'm in the studio with trap producers, or house producers, or dubstep producers, or classical just the producers. Art of it, right? And I'll just be singing yeah. over the song because I just love singing. Mm. And it's an art form. So you've already had some amazing career highlights, uh, but would you ima ever imagined yourself in this position right now? Not at all. Not at all. Twelve months ago, I was just a normal eighteen-year-old guy from yeah. East London, and I was like, well, "I'm still that normal eighteen-year-old guy." Nineteen. Um, Fame has changed you. You know, it hasn't changed me at all. Yeah. You know, I. It's. It's weird. Last year, I wouldn't think that at all. I wouldn't think that I would be. Creating an album that goes out into the charts will compete with Beyonce and Nicki Minaj. Yeah, I yeah. think that I'll be able to meet great people, get comments from Simon Cowell, Cheryl Cole, um, speaking at conferences. Must be quite surreal, yeah. I'm speaking at conferences with Ed Miliband, campaigning with Gordon Brown. These surreal. Rubbing moments. shoulders of all these. Rubbing like... shoulders of all these people and getting to work with all these great songwriters and producers, getting to meet all these great people. It's just so surreal. So surreal. Even going through the competition, the voice, it was just so surreal. I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't believe this is actually happening. Mm. Wow, I'm actually going through. Wow, I'm actually in the last stage. Wow, I'm in the final. Yeah. Wow, I'm in the final three. Oh my Every goodness, little step must have been quite. Like shocking, thinking, wow, very, like I'm here now. Very shocking, very shocking. Is like, but ve but ve I'm, but every single step of the way, I was thankful. thankful did did you did you have a self confidence? Did you did you think like you know what in the back of your head? Like I know now you, know, you say, uh, uh, look. no, I, no, you didn't have that bit said, of. Come on, I'm gonna do it. I've got this I in the bag. Said, you know, you know how the TV production goes. They say, oh yeah, just do it for the camera. Never. Yeah. I didn't think I was. You said no, at thank all. you. I didn't think I was going. I, I tell it to everyone. I didn't even resign from work. Mm -hmm. I was working at the library in Islington. 
and I didn't even resign from work. So the weekend that I won, the following Saturday, I had to go into work. Then you had to No, no, I had to go into work because I didn't resign, because you have to give a month's notice. Yeah. So I had to go into work and then um, work that day. I had to go into work. Really? And you worked I, that day? I worked. That must worked have been a very, from, very... From, from 11 to 5. I was working in the library, shelving books, and then people re people realized, oh, you're the guy from the Wait a minute. Oh, so they, so, <laughs> so what start, are you doing people here? People start to rush into the library, then they yeah. move into the back room just to shelve the trolleys and push out the trolleys into people for them to shelve. And I was working in the back room, and I said, you know, like, today's I'm a hand. You know, well, yeah, at one stage, I would have imagined the boss would have been like, you know what, this isn't going very well. Do you mean? Yeah. Thanks for your. People, he, he sort of just said, more more he sort of attention said, for the library. People are not really coming in to read books. Do you yeah. Mean? Um, you might have to get into the back room. Yeah. So I was in the back room for the whole day and I said, you know what, today I'm going to hand in my designation. Nice moment though, right? Of alone time to just think, yeah, you know what? Yeah. It's over this stage of my yeah. life. Yeah, but no, it, it, it was a very humbling moment. Because, you know, when you get caught up with, oh, you're a winner. Oh, so God. juxtaposed being where you came from to uh, what all, reality all, all over the place. And then you're back in, back, in, back in where you started and back at the library. And I was like, wow. Wow. Uh, this is, this is nice. It summarises it nicely, doesn't yeah, it? Really? It's it like really, and it really brings you that. back down and yeah. saying, you know what, this is where you start, so let's remember where you are. And I was like, I'm glad that I, I forgot to resign because you really get caught up. Mm. I just put, for the for the show, I booked off two months of leave because I had all that leave caught up. And then I said, you know what, I'm going to get paid for that and then um, come back to work because I, I didn't think I was going to win. Mm -hmm. I can win, I can rain. Um, so, for anyone who hasn't heard uh, uh, your music, uh, where can they find it? So my um, my I can't swear. Um, no, my my. You can you can oh, we can bleep it. Bleep bleep bleep. <laughs> no no um, no. My album my, um, my material will be, will be out in spring, mm -hmm. um, which is very exciting. Um, but some stuff might will come out earlier. Um, like on my SoundCloud, so keep an eye on my SoundCloud. Jermaine Jackman on SoundCloud. Jermaine Jackman. Um, follow me on Twitter and Facebook, Jermaine Jackman, for updates and and to be kept informed about my my material and and covers that I may be bringing out as well. It's really it's some very exciting times, and I'm really looking forward to it. Mhm. Mm Excellent. Nice well, nice Jermaine, you. it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much, Thank man. Thank you so much for having me. Thank, Thank you. you very much. This has been Purant TV. We'll see you guys next Purant time. Purant TV. See you next time.